We have been getting your calls and emails sharing concerns about immigration and border security. We're listening and spending the entire year looking at why the debate is so split. Tonight in our project community report, Action 7 News reporter Marissa Armas looks at why a county manager is demanding help. We asked the governor why it took so long to respond and what's next for that area. A rural area in the boot hill of New Mexico. There's not enough protection for our citizens. Hidalgo County, where four county sheriff's deputies patrol almost 3,500 square miles of land. We need people to understand that there are things in these rural communities that go on that nobody has any clue about because they don't live down here. They're not near the border. The county manager was so concerned, she wrote a letter to state lawmakers begging for help, making an urgent request for assistance, saying people who live by the border are not safe. We need some type of protection. We need to get a plan in place, immigration reform. We need um, more law enforcement. Tisha Green says the county has seven full-time employees on their emergency medical team. The closest hospital is more than 50 miles away. And I'm not stating it's a, an emergency situation down here, but I do think it, it could become one if we are not planning for what's to come. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, since the start of the year, at least three large groups of migrants were apprehended near Antelope Wells. When people are coming across the border, you have another incident that occurs 50 miles east of that. It's almost as if it was a distraction for like the traffickers mm -hmm. to bring stuff into the United States. Residents call for help with immigrants almost every day. More officers at the border means fewer officers available in other parts of the county. The county manager hoped her letter would raise a red flag and get them some help. I would have to say I'm a little disappointed. The Hidalgo County manager says it took a month for Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham to acknowledge the letter. In fact, the county manager says she didn't respond to concerns in the letter until I started calling her office. Why did the response take so long? Well, it didn't take long. People were on the ground. I, I disagree with that. The governor recently removed National Guard troops from the southern border, but she's keeping them in Hidalgo County and even sending six state police officers to that area to help with border problems the county manager brought up in her letter. There is, in fact, a humanitarian crisis that's occurring in Hidalgo County. The governor says the issues for citizens in Hidalgo County are legitimate, but they are nothing new. She wants to see data to verify what citizens are experiencing. It is true that when you have hundreds of people who were coming across a remote area with uh, insufficient numbers of individuals at both the port of entry and along that remote area, that that makes it easier for nefarious actors, right, to create additional risks in that area. I agree. Several of the governor's cabinet members did eventually go down to Hidalgo County to see what was happening, but the county manager invites the governor to see it for herself. There needs to be some resolution to the wall issue, the border issue, the immigration issue. There has to be a solution and it can't be at our level. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have to be much higher than us. The common ground shared by both the governor and the county manager is that everyone living by the border should feel safe. Reporting in Hidalgo County, Marissa Armas, KOAT Action 7 News. We have found in our project community reporting that even though both sides of the border security and immigration debate can be very split, there's usually some area of common ground. If you know anyone who's working to bring both sides together, tell us about them on Marissa's Facebook page, and you can watch all of her project community stories from the border on KOAT.com.